If you have money working hard for you, then it positions you in a way also that okay na pala tong savings ko, okay na pala tong investments ko, I get to do other things as well. So that was part of my core value, eh, that I just wanted to focus on the things that I wanted to do. I wanted every waking moment of my life something that's excited that you feel ko ngayon, I don't have to drag myself to get out of bed because every waking day of my life, I'm so excited because it's amazing. Eh. Guys, please remember this. Iba yung feeling na pagising nyo sa umaga, enjoy na enjoy kayo sa ginagawa nyo. Iba yung feeling sa umaga that you don't have to force yourself that you have to do this. So we are back again answering the questions that you guys have sent out via social media it was asked by mf domias how did you know it's already time to focus into trading investing over your job before number one do not go into investing just because you get inspired by videos like this or whatever book mentor that is doing what they're doing right now it has to be something that is very 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 strategic it's something that you have to plan for so it took me five years also of working as an employee but i knew it already for those who watch my previous videos i've said it that the first two weeks palang of me working as an employee i realized it and i said to myself hey i'm not gonna do this forever i'm not gonna be an employee forever and from that time i decided that hey because of that i'm gonna align all of my activities with this one goal in mind i would have enough either a business or investments that will take care of me that I don't have to be employed a single day of my life. My goal actually when I started out, I just wanted to start my own KFC franchise. I also wanted to do a show my house and then put it in uh, Bonnie Pioneer Station. Those were my goals and then I wanted to do it at 40 years old. And if you've been watching the previous videos, it's just a blessing that I was able to do it at a much earlier and a much faster pace. It wasn't really something that happen in the spur of the moment it was something that's methodical that's why i keep telling people that you have to love the process that you have to love the grind because it doesn't happen overnight you don't have to compare about the pace of other people what's important is you get there that's what matters the most eh? so how did i do that i had no one in my family my relatives my friends who were really into business who were really into investing. One thing that I needed to know was this, I needed to change the way I think. The best way for me to be able to do that was I got a lot of books. I read a lot of Robert Kiyosaki, I read a lot of Francisco Colaico, Gamboa. I read all of those books and I honor people who come up with books, who come up with seminars because they give what they have to you. Eh. And what you learn from them is something that it will never get lost. Eh. It's something that if you follow and execute the learnings, the principles that are there, it's what's gonna allow you to transcend and do things better. It wasn't an overnight process. It was five years for me. Then I laid the groundwork early on. I was very, very frugal. I tried to invest as much as possible. I tried to do a lot of side hustles as possible as well. A tipping point also was I had savings. I already made an assumption that, hmm, what if walang papasok na pera sa akin for this period of time? Will I survive? There's a big advantage of people who have a lower lifestyle because if they have a lower lifestyle, their operational expenses would be much lower. Meaning, if your operational expenses is much, much lower, you just need a smaller amount of income. You just need a smaller amount of either passive income, business income, investment income, etc. Do not look at investing as a replacement to your job because when you're employed, you will always get a fixed amount on a regular basis. But that's not the way to approach investing. That's not the way to approach business. It's never like that. It will never ever be like that. There will be months that it won't be as good. There will be months that it will be amazing. A big chunk of my consideration was how much savings did I have and how many years would I last if zero income would come in. And at that time, when I quit my job, I was 27 years old and I had this realization. If you're 27 years old, if it doesn't work out, impossible zero yung papasok because I was working hard na money. Eh. If you work hard, never ka magugutom. Never ako nakitang tao na sobrang sipag, sobrang maabilidad, sobrang madiskarte na nagutom. Because hustlers will always win. So that's what I was thinking. It's not wrong to be employed. 
a lot of people villainize being employed, but that's not wrong. Eh? There will be people also that their calling in life is to be employees. There will also be people that really love their job. Eh? At that time, I was so excited already about the stock market. I was so excited for Mondays because the market was open. I would dread Fridays because there was no more trading anymore at that point in time. So, balik na mentality ko. It was something that made me feel alive. There were other things also that I was already doing as well. Other investments also, but the stock market appealed to me the most. Eh? It came to a point where I was going to work just for the feeling of being responsible. I don't know if you ever felt this, napapasok kayo kasi your team is depending on you, you have responsibilities, you have tasks, you have goals also as an organization that you know you're also part of it. I knew naman that I had to be responsible. I never tell people na when you are employed, pabayaan yung trabaho nyo, yung pabayaan yung trabaho nyo, be faithful where you are. Please remember this, if you are faithful with little, you will be faithful with much. Kaya don't cheat your office. Don't cheat wherever you are and whatever you're doing. You have to be honest. You have to be responsible. You have to be a good steward of what you have right now. And that's just my mentality. And one of my mentors said this. Sabi niya, Marvin, whenever you leave a certain season, it always has to be a step up. Do not leave this season that it's a step down. Do not leave this season that will take you backward. I was working for HP and what I loved about HP is their flexi time. I got to work at the pace that I wanted to do because HP is pretty much results oriented that the amount of value that you give corresponds to the amount of rating that you will get as well. It's not about you working 15 hours, you will do better than someone who's working 10 hours. It's pretty much results oriented. So that's why I loved it. It was very flexible. Also, they had twice a week work from home that allowed me to do my investing and other things that I wanted to do also on the side as well. And lastly, and this was the main trigger for me resigning, I knew my season was over. You always go back to what your season in life. You have to do the things that make you feel alive. You have to do the things that make you feel excited. You have to do the things that part of your calling, part of your purpose is, is your passion. It's not worth doing something just for the money and if it eats you up inside it. I'd rather lose out on the 900 million pesos than do the things that not me being excited. I have to be true to who I am and I have to be true to what excites me. And the reason why I keep telling people to save and invest and just allow yourself to, for money to work hard for you because if you have money working hard for you, then it positions you in a way also that okay na pala tong savings ko, okay na pala tong investments ko, I get to do other things as well. So that was part of my core value, eh, that I just wanted to focus on the things that I wanted to do. I wanted every waking moment of my life something that's excited that you feel ko ngayon, I don't have to drag myself to get out of bed because every waking day of my life, I'm so excited because it's amazing. Eh. Guys, please remember this. Iba yung feeling na pagising nyo sa umaga, enjoy na enjoy kayo sa ginagawa nyo. Iba yung feeling sa umaga na you don't have to force yourself, that you have to do this. I've been doing YouTube even when I had no subscribers because I love it eh. And if you've been following the previous videos that I've been doing, the reason why I do it, this is never about the subscribers. The reason why I'm doing this because I love it. You have to find what works for you. You have to find what you love. So just to sum everything up, I had savings, potential cash flow. When I say potential because it won't always be the same but I know that there was an ability for me to earn more. Number three, I knew it was just time. My season as an employee was over. And was it scary that I resigned? Of course, it's scary. Jumping to the unknown is always hard. Eh? Doing something that's unfamiliar is always hard. But I'll tell you this. Quitting my job, resigning, was the best decision I've ever made. And I'll never work for someone again. I love the freedom that I get to do things when I want and at my own pace. So I hope this helped you. MF Domanias, I hope this is something that gave you enough insight and information as well. It springboards how you want to do things in your life. So comment below if you have questions as well. Comment below if this inspired you. Comment inspiring if it's something that's inspiring if you have other questions as well, put them in the comment section or PM me in Instagram when I do another series of Ask Marvin here in Instagram. By the way, I have an Instagram account. The following is very, very small probably because I'm not going to But if you'd like to follow me there, you can easily DM me in Instagram as compared to Facebook. I'd like to hear from all of you. So that's it for now. This is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys. And God bless you all.